My name is Tatiana Prandt. I'm a dental hygienist. For the last 10 years, I have been working as a clinical instructor at the School of Oral Healthcare, University of Copenhagen, teaching dental hygiene students how to use LM instruments. This video case is step-by-step -step illustration of my choice, how to simplify hand instrument selections and how to rationalize a professional approach to scaling, making it more time official and using only few periodontal instruments combinating different periodontal strokes. A choice of instruments for a patient which needs a comprehensive scaling has a big uh, calculus deposits, sometimes residual or burnished calculus, which needs a more powerful um, scaling stroke is a set of uh, Langa, Universal Curates Langa. And I always use Universal Curate in combination with a sickle, which I'm doing in this case. My choice is uh, Mini Langa, one, two, for the lower jaw, three, four, for the upper jaw, posterior areas, five, six, it's for anterior teeth, and mini sickle for starting phase, cross scaling, and finishing evaluating strokes. Mini Langa is uh, a little bit more rigid in their design than mini graces. And the angulation of Langa makes it possible to produce a very powerful scaling strokes, which is needed to remove burnished calculus or bigger deposits of calculus. That's why if um, you are a very experienced clinician and you can manage angulation in deep periodontal pockets, the Langa Universal Curates is one of the best choices you can make for residual and burnished calculus. I prefer working with uh, Langa Universal Curates when uh, I need to scale a patient with uh, big size or moderate size deposits. And I'm starting here with Langa. One, two, in a lower jaw. Not as the angulation is different. Lung is a universal curate, which means that you need to tittle it a little bit um, to tooth surface. But you are still moving and working the whole surface, at least a half of part of it, doing distal surfaces and mesial surfaces with the same instruments. So Lanka 1-2 is designed for moderate uh, big size deposit and you can see I can easily generate a quite powerful stroke without using a lot of uh, pressure from my hand or fingers. Mini Lanka has a quite narrow working end and uh, it allows scaling a full occasion with this universal curate. Doing distal surfaces of uh, the rules and Michel. And for doing of uh, the ceiling of full occasion, you are using the toe just with a very gentle movement. Long terminal chunk of these instruments is perfect for scaling the deep periodontal pockets. You just need to tittle the instrument a little bit to achieve the perfect angulation. It is also possible and uh, it is quite uh, effective doing uh, some horizontal strokes with Lana, as I'm doing here, especially at the line angles, where you can find residual calculus.
Next, we are moving to the upper jaw, scaling the posterior teeth with a mini langa 3 and 4, doing a series of uh, vertical strokes, just titling instrument, and using the same working end for the distal and for the initial sides. You can see that I am titling an instrument a little bit toward to the tooth. You just need to adjust your rest position and it's the same rule as here. You are only working with the first third part of your tip. Horizontal strokes are used at the line angle and at the midlines of the distal surfaces. Horizontal strokes can be very useful at the palatal sides as well. In a combination with the vertical strokes. In the same way as you did for occasion in a lower jaw, you are doing at scaling uh, for occasion nicely, but with mini langa 3 and 4 in an upper jaw. Remember your angulation and quite gentle strokes, nearly detecting strokes, and of course, if you need to, to make a little bit more lateral pressure, you are doing this, but working gentle through for occasion. The debridement of uh, anterior teeth are done with uh, mini langa 5 and 6. I prefer doing all the surfaces which are turned uh, toward to me first and then flipping the instrument and uh, doing all surfaces away from me afterwards. It's very nice to work with this instrument in deep and narrow periodontal pockets. I start uh, scaling anterior teeth doing some vertical strokes and I can easily adapt the instrument to narrow periodontal pockets, but if it is necessary, I can do some uh, very short, precise horizontal strokes to be sure that uh, there is no any residual calculus left on the root surfaces. As the toe of uh, the universal curate is wider than uh, a tip of a scale, it's difficult to scale the contact points with the universal curate. That's why I always finishing and making some evaluating strokes with a sickle in this case, a mini sickle, a very good instrument just to check in the proximal spaces for any pearls of uh, calculus left. I'm working a lot with uh, tip down technique uh, for finishing uh, strokes because I'm making a combination of detecting strokes and uh, some evaluating strokes. And I can see here, it's like a combination of vertical strokes and some tiny, short horizontal strokes, if it is necessary. The instrument choice is always up to clinician, but there are so many excellent options.